Why? Hello and welcome everybody. It's a good morning. I uh, ended up taking a day off and then the next day after the internet went out. So sorry for the delay on the update. Um, so the Chieftain is now level 96. We have um, pretty much done majority of what I want to with this character. Uh, still a lot to do in SSF, but more so with this character. I've accomplished pretty much everything I want. Um, you know, found a fractured scepter, crafted on a fractured scepter, um, got my elder helm, ended up getting our elder helm through literally chaining elder maps. Uh, I was utilizing this new node, destructive play in SSF, which is very good. Basically the combo of destructive play plus remnants of the past plus conqueror maps equals lots of guardian and conqueror maps. So that's pretty cool. Each of these additional bosses allows them to drop um, basically this map and this map. So anyway, um, I ended up pivoting into a Rise of the Phoenix instead of a Dawnbreaker, primarily because it allows me to hit 90 max res. For the Dawnbreaker, I was sitting around 86, and this just felt more tanky. Um, this also gives way more sustain, which is what my character was lacking. Uh, after getting the 90 max res and the Lightning Coil set up, uh, I ended up getting my Lightning Coil out of farming Wharf map. So that would be uh, this here. Specifically, Wharf Legion was dropping um, some consistent cards, but in the end, that I ended up harvest gambling to get the Lightning Coil, uh, and then I used an Omen to get three White Sockets, so very lucky. Character felt pretty good once I got the Lightning Coil and Rise of the Phoenix set up, and then I started playing it yesterday, and I just still kept dying. Um, it, it just, the character might have good, as we say, mitigation, but there are two things lacking with this build. Number one, I'm not really gonna force myself to do the league mechanic to get the amulet. There's a really good amulet in the league mechanic that basically makes it so uh, you heal X amount of your life before you take the damage. It's very good for builds that have extremely high mitigation, but maybe don't have a surge of giga regen like a juggernaut does when they're mitigating damage uh, through, I think it's untiring or the block-based setup of uh, Inquisitor, right? Chieftain just has some raw mitigation and he needs a little bit of extra help. But I really don't think running RF on it is the smartest thing to do if you're trying to push it super late game. There is another option I would like to try to do, which is Transcendence, but there's no way I can set up Transcendence in SSF. Anyway though, let's, let's keep going over the rest of the gear here. Um, you can see my boots are pretty much just like life res, uh, pretty much just regen, right? The regen, life, res, and then movement speed, avoid chill. Um, and then, yeah, same gloves. I ended up having some better gear to work on. I just never really got around to it because I never got the Veiled Chaos slash got a little bored of this character. All right, so before we get started, I'll just talk about the main links and then we're going to go. So here we've got Righteous Fire, Burning Damage, Increased AoE, Ellie Focus, Swift Affliction, Life Tap. And then here, Fire Trap, Swift Affliction, Trap and Mine, and Life Tap. That's still being leveled. Um, real fast on the tattoos, so I ended up only finding one explode tattoo, uh, then I just got bored of Toda, so only one explode tattoo, sad. I've got regen, we've got, uh, all attributes here to help with dex, regen, 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 uh, and that's pretty much all I got out of it. So, I'm gonna jump into a map, nothing is gonna be very impressive here, I can't Maven Witness because I've already done it. Believe me, you don't want to see the Maven Witness anyway, so, yeah, let's get started. The purpose of this character, the only real benefit I can see for an RF Chieftain specifically is in SSF, if you want to have a character that can set up easy explodes without like any gear basically, that would kind of be this character. Um, the thing is, if you were to farm explode tattoos, which to be fair, would take a little bit to farm explode tattoos, then I think you would straight up just have a better, um, like a better build if you were to play Juggernaut or if you were to play... Um, Inquisitor. So right now you have we have the Chieftain Explode node, right? Alongside having the Chieftain Explode, we have the 2% tattoo. And then I also have, um, what is it called? I also have the Burning Mastery for the 3%. Burning Mastery I normally would not take, but it chains well, I believe, with Herald of Ash, which is why we're taking it. Now, to run Herald of Ash, I am gimping a little bit of my single target by not running Skitterbots. All I have to do to set up Skitterbot is literally take this node and turn on Skitterbot and drop Herald of Ash.
I think that the only way I would really want to play this character more is if I farmed like more explode tattoos but then after I farm more explode tattoos I would simply come to the, the conclusion of I wish I put these explode tattoos on a juggernaut or a inquisitor because then that character would feel way more well-rounded for me personally a lot more tanky have a lot more like bossing viability and we also did tackle maven on this character deathless it uh was not very fun i mean it was okay but the damage felt really bad for maven so it felt like i was doing maven on my jug except i was less tanky so that's that's not really good I know there's also people who are doing like, was it Formless Flame or Formless Inferno, whatever the one is for like uncapped fire res. The problem I have with that is uh, I'm, I'm sure it works just fine, right? I just have very high expectations for my RF builds and if I am sabotaging all my damage on the helmet, that then pivots me into the gloves, which then you, you know, you would go with like Delirium damage over time gloves with maybe like Shaper or something, but then I'm losing all of the regen here and I'm losing all of the regen here. And my regen is already starved and in the end the problem i have is i'm not really getting any giga mitigation like i i might have say an extra say my armor goes from 10k to uh i don't know 50k and then with flasks even higher i'm still gonna die to like a barrage of damage that's my that's my biggest problem whereas again when we play juggernaut or holy when we play Juggernaut or Inquisitor, right, Juggernaut gets unbreakable, so you really start to shrug off the smaller hits, and Inquisitor gets massive, uh, like a much bigger, oh boy, a much bigger effective life pool. On top of having the bigger effective life pool, we go block, which really feeds into the recovery. Like, my Inquisitor would be face tanking this right now, my Chieftain cannot face tank this, <laughs> and does less damage. And there's not really, again, like I was saying, there's not really much I can do outside of just really gimping the character even more why is this on left click there we go so overall it was kind of a fun experiment it's not really something i want to do again uh if i was in trade lead like i said i think we could find a lot more viability with this uh or we can just play a different skill on chieftain ultimately okay a little rough but you know we made it <laughs> very rough yeah so anyway with that being said uh, i'm gonna be working on a new project now while i take a break from this character potentially retire it not really sure uh, i've actually been leveling a bow build holy i cannot tell you the last time i played a bow build i've been having a lot of fun with it so we ended up farming some okay gear so i've got a taming i'm using a sallow i'm actually going to take the lightning coil from that character as a temporary six link because it's the perfect colors green 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 red red blue so we're doing a lightning arrow build to kind of farm up the legion we also have a bunch of um emblem sets that i'm going to get to run on this character as well so that'll be pretty fun and then just in general i'm really curious where it ends up um this is going to be a champion i'm pretty sure it's going to be more tanky than the chieftain and it's going to be ranged so very excited for how this character plays out uh, but yeah, that's pretty much all I'm going to hit you guys up with right now. So if you liked the video, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. And don't forget, you can catch me streaming live every day but Sundays at twitch.tv slash pogs. See you guys all later. Thanks for watching.